Hey, dear student, I am Epi. I am a teacher of chemistry. Welcome once again on this channel where we will study different topics from chemistry. If it's your first time, please remember to hit on the subscribe button. This will allow you to get lesson step by step. Last time, we had studied about the physical change and the chemical change of, of matter. Today, we are going to study about pure substance and the mixture. Means that you are going to talk about two things. One is the pure substance, another it is a mixture. You can ask yourself, what is pure substance? And what is a mixture? Well, let us start by pure substance. A pure substance is that a substance consists by a single component or single material. Well, yes. Uh, here, our definition tells us how pure substance is that a substance which consists by single material. It's made up by single material. It's made up by single component. It is what we call pure, pure substance. For example, here it may be Here, it may be what we call element. Here, element, we found the element on the periodic table, which invented by uh, Dmitry uh, Ivanovich Mandarev. This element, it is what we call pure, pure substance. It may be uh, element like coralline, it may be element like calcium, Ca. It may be element like copper, copper Cu. This is what we call a pure substance. This substance of calcium is composed by only calcium. Where chlorine also is composed by only chlorine. If we have this lead pen, no mixture of any other other color means that it consists by only this lead color. Reason why, if I I light here, you see it is in lead color. It is not in matic matic color because it is a pure, a pure substance. Well, I think that you understand why or what is a pure, a pure substance. Let us continue or let us move forward. Here, you can ask, how can I know a pure substance? Yes. It can you can be able to identify if the if uh, substance is pure or if the substance is a mixture. Here you can uh, identify uh, pure substance from a mixture by using its boiling point, melting point, and also you can use. What, what we call index or refractive, refractive index. Here you will know this is, is a pure. A pure water 
a pure water always boil at at 100 degrees celsius and it is merit on uh, for example if water is in, in the form of ice it can merit at the zero degrees celsius as the same it can freeze at uh, zero degrees celsius freezing of water uh, take place at the zero degrees celsius the melting of water also or uh, water in the form of ice also melt at zero degrees celsius water also boil at 100 degrees celsius this is the characteristic or this is the um the characteristic will help you to know to find out if the a substance is a pure Yes, here a pure substance, uh, a pure substance are characterized by boiling point. As I say here, water. Water boiling at 100 degrees Celsius. And the melting point is ice melting at zero degrees Celsius. And for example, refractive index of air, it is, it is one. You see, this is the fixtures that will help you to know if your substance is a mixture or if your substance is a pure. For example, if you boil uh, uh, water mixed with for example, with uh, sugar, uh, yes, as I say, if you boil water mixed with uh, with sugar, here, boiling point of mixture of, of solution of water and sugar, it will not boil at uh, 100 degrees Celsius. As the same, if you try to, to, to put a salt on ice, it will melt before, means that it will not wait this melting point. Sometimes, if the things is not pure, it can boil fast or it can boil slowly. It depends on the on the on the type of the the substance you mix with your your pure pure substance so this is the characteristic that you will that will help you to know if your substance is uh, is pure or is not pure For example, I take my pure substance, I, I put uh, uh, other substance, I mix. That is small amount of impurity I put in my pure substance. It makes this all substance to become impure. 
it has said this. The substance Yes, here uh, a substance contains a small amount of other substance resulting in the forming impurity which is called the impure. Impure is the result of mixing more than two substances or more than one substance. If you mix more than one substance, you are informing impure. Because you take a pure substance, you put impurity and you forming impure, impure substance. Here, impure substance as I say, it is a result of mixing more than one, more than one substance. We say that a substance contains a small amount of other substance resulting in forming impure, impurity, which is called the impure, impure substance. Impure substance is a result of mixing more than two, more than two substance. Here, a pure substance can be or can exist as element, can exist uh, or like a compound. Pure Yes, here pure substance can exist as element and it can exist as a compound. Example of an element, yes, we say that coralline, CR. This is the symbols of what we call coralline. Line. And also, a pure compound should be, for example, a compound of water. This is the formula of water, what you call water. Yes. So, thank you so much. And remember to hit on subscribe if it's your first time.